you. Well done, Jake. You know, I know you see me drinking that power punch a lot, but I'm thinking about switching to that sweet water. You tried?
something exciting. Exciting isn't always a good thing, trust me. Yeah, well, it's better than guard duty. How many targets are we talking about here? We found a dozen. We got guys that they were carrying wounded weapons. Just keep your head down and don't wander off. Come on, we're, we're talking about clerks and regular employees. Something to worry about. Don't be so sure. There might be a couple security guards with them. Don't do anything stupid. going on here? Hey, Matt. It's Jake. He's alive. Yeah, I can see that. You just keep on surprising me. You should go and talk to the others. They'll be happy to see you. So, we're trapped. I oh, know. We've got no way out. I oh, know. Jake, you made it. What happened to you? I knew you'd make it. So, what do you think of our new place? We've got a nice campfire, we managed to bring in enough supplies for a few days, and there's only three ways in and three ways out. But uh, we barricaded one of them because it was, uh, unsafe. <laughs> unsafe? Man, we barely opened the door and gas all weekend. These are the biological labs. What did you expect? What I expect? I'd expect you to find a safe room that is not right next to some crazy-ass lab with toxic gas. That's what I'd expect. Has anyone briefed Jake on the situation? Yeah, 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 I'll take care of you. Jake, look, you ready for this? All right, there it is. We're fucked. That was it. Now he's briefed. We've encountered hostile armed personnel on our way to the safe room. I take it you saw the cadavers? Which means this armed response that is supposed to disable us has already reached this level and probably the other wings. But that's not the worst part. They noticed I hacked the ciphers and their response was to change the core access cipher codes. Uh, so basically, we're stuck on this wing. Well, these labs can take us to the south wing, but as you guys know, it's definitely a no-go. But even if we reach the south wing, then what? Well, as I was telling Ben earlier, the main frame servers for this level were located there. So? If they change the cipher codes, that's where we'll find them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
decide what I do or I don't do without asking me. You want to go in the motherfucking labs? No. Just shut the fuck up. But the lab access is under quarantine. And, well... Well, what? The only way to actually enter the labs is with a yellow access card that we don't have. Oh, right, yeah, yellow access. I read about that somewhere. It's the... Quarantine override card, I know. And where would that key card be? So what's our first step, then? Got this location secured, so that's good. Our first step is to scout this wing for survivors and supplies. Try to find that special key card to get access to the labs. Then we go to the south wing, get access to the server to get the new codes, and we should be good. But there's only one gas mask, and Ben, you're the only one who can access the server. Well, not the only one. Jake here managed to upload the cipher guidance system just fine. And he also figured out how to reboot the MGPS on his own. Seems he knows his way around technology. And I could guide him through on the radio, too. All right, Ben, what do you know about the North Wing? Um, not much, unfortunately. I haven't been able to dig up anything beyond this level on the network. I don't really know why my access isn't... <coughs> what do you mean? Well, you remember I told you I managed to plug myself into the main security network earlier? Yeah. That's how I've been able to get all the info I've gotten so far. But it's strange. I only get bits of data. Like, it's like I don't have full access. It's, I mean, it says I have full access, but I don't. It could take a while to try and dig up everything about the North Wing. What do you want to know, anyway? Because the only way up on this level is through the North Wing. I want to know what to expect there. All right, then I'll just keep digging. All right, take Yo and Eric still up and return. They should be bringing the rest of the supplies from the safe room on the first level. They're going to need someone to open the core access for them when they get there. I'm guessing you had to close the cycle to get in, Jake, so they won't be able to get through. Man, do you have any idea how annoying it was to run the auto cycle on this thing? I had to turn it on and run like hell and then roll under the door right before it closed, just so that the access could be open on the other side. Ryan, Junior, since you two can't be separated, apparently, you go ahead to the core access and wait for Takeo and Eric. Okay, you got it, but there's no way I'm pulling that stunt again. We'll just wait for them at the core access. Alright, Jack, you go on to the offices of this wing. By the core access. Try and see if anyone's still alive over there. Try to locate the key.
been a while, hasn't it? You know, I saw you back there all drunk and dizzy. You know, you should drink with moderation. I don't know how much you had, but it was probably too much for your own good. I hope you didn't mind me carrying you away from there. I just wasn't going to leave you there lying on the floor in the middle of the corridor now, was I? Anyway, I'm glad to see that you're better. One day I was crawling around the vents down there in the south wing, and little did I know, my mask had a leak! Not a, not a very big one, but I started smelling stuff I wasn't supposed to be smelling, and I started to feel all dizzy, so I got out of there as fast as I could. I don't really go to the south wing all that much since then. Of course, I got a new mask, but still, it's not a very nice place. You know, we are getting mighty close to having a full deck of cards now. Thanks to you, I can do a lot of fun activities with my little friends. So yeah, no time to rest. Let's get the missing cards before my beard starts to grow too long. So here's the deal. You bring me ten more cards, and I'll give you my crossbow. That's right. You heard me right. My favorite and most effective tool for hunting rats. So, you want to take your chance to win my crossbow, huh? It's of my own design. Well, yeah, yeah. I can see I'm huh. Hey, Jake. I'd like to talk to you. Listen, I wasn't the only one working on the cover here. I had a few contacts here and there in this place. We were making progress on finding out exactly what was going on down here. One of my colleagues contacted me before all of this started. He said he had some data for me. If I recall correctly, he worked on this floor. That data could be something very important. It might help us figure out a few things. So bring it to me, and I'll get you a nice silencer for your pistol. Deal? All right, he said the data will be hidden inside of a book. Some cheesy vampire book, so that no one would want to open it. Ah, you found bring the key card. Good job. Hey, you keeping busy out there?
good job. I don't get it. This place has so much more trees, advanced sure research the facilities, and the entire personnel that works here also lives Thanks. here. But why do they have a here, penitentiary facility? As promised. That's just It'll probably really dangerous. It's placing a prison in the middle of a city. Pretty simple, really. Penitentiary facilities get financial support from the government. But I thought prisons are government facilities. <laughs> You're dreaming, boy. Prisons are just like any other business. They get cheap working labor, and they get tax cuts, and they get paid. When we get out of here, if we get out of here, if we're going to talk to the media, we better make sure we lose items, or better yet, find a way to take them out. This guy will probably track us down to the Arctic Circle just to finish the job.